That's what you get. That's what you get when you break it in the proper way. Reliable. You hear that? Rich. Then you left it, bam, takes off right away. That's what you want. Look who has come to join us, people. We got a 438. We're running at 14 teeth plus, bro. I've never ran a 14 teeth in this engine before. And seeing how it did really with a 16 teeth, probably gonna be way too much power. Oh, there you go. People, so we're doing the first, I mean, this is the fifth tank technically. We're doing a uh, quarter throttle for a whole tank. And uh, yeah, basically this. I've done it before on uh, Nitro Brother Dave's 438. Basically, we're running around like this for like a couple of laps, a couple of tanks. I mean, it was just one tank, to be honest, people. One tank, half throttle. Uh, qu uh, three quarters of throttle, then full throttle, then done. Maybe maybe a second tank of full throttle, just to get it extra safety. But, uh, so far it's running really good. It uh, performed, it, it started really easily too. It started really easily, so that's a good sign, people. This is tank number seven. We're doing um, almost full throttle. This is like three quarters of throttle. And uh, it's running really good. It's starting to run really consistent. But it's also low fuel, I'm gonna refuel it. Last tank people, full throttle. After this, we're gonna do a basic tune. Not a race tune, not yet. We're gonna keep it rich for like at least a quart. And then, race tune. Look who has come to join us people. We got a Force 38 running an LRP. Uh, I, believe, I believe this is the Enduro 46 that I used to have. We got that thing finally done. We're gonna do a, uh, not a race tune, but like a basic tune on this. So that's gonna work. And uh, it's gonna be awesome. That's way better. That's way better. Look at that acceleration. Red new Kyosho Inferno ST Neo 3.0, just broken this in. There we go. I can't even. That thing is so loud, dude, I can't hear anything. I can hear a bearing. Jesus Christ. That's a stock 438. That's right, that's a stock Kyosho Inferno ST. What the hell, dude? Not that's not that's right there. It's just that's just scary. But man, that thing. I think that thing has a bad bearing because that thing is that thing makes a lot of bad noises. Man, that thing got guts, dude. We got a high idle and a very rich low speed. Well, we're gonna keep it like that because it's still a new engine. It's still a new engine. We're gonna not gonna go aggressive on it yet. I mean, it runs. Was really good. Was really reliable. That's what you get. That's what you get when you break it in the proper way. Reliable. You hear that? Rich. Then you left it, bam, takes off right away. That's what you want. For 470 bucks, bro. This you cannot beat this thing, man. This is. This is stock diffs, everything. Stock engine, stock pipe. This is box stock right here. I bet if you put differ, uh, bigger diff crease, I mean, yeah, fluid, like 200k center, 100k front rear, like I have, that would be, that would pull wheelies, let me tell you. That stock 25 will pull wheelies all day long. All right, people, so we're gonna test my Kyosho Inferno ST. New clutch. We're running at 14 teeth clutch bell. I've never ran a 14 teeth on this engine before. And seeing how it did really with a 16 teeth, it's gonna be probably gonna be way too much power. We're also gonna finish the break-in of this right here. 
So this will also be a video coming up soon and this will be running tomorrow in the Nitro event in Almere. <laughs> I had it to really just a moment ago, but I guess I was too late. Actually, it's trying to really, but uh, the wheels don't grip at all. These wheels are trash. Actually, I think it's a full of wheelie right here on this top right there. Oh, there we go. I think it's probably my left, move my right front tire. I think, I think, I think it's about to pop up the ring. It's a bit. Yeah, it's a bit lean on the low end. I can definitely see that. We're also running that new clutch on it. The one millimeter spin. The 1.1 mm springs with the soft clutch shoes, uh, I mean the hard clutch shoes, the medium clutch shoes actually, from X-Ray. Definitely not an explosion when I'm ready to do that. But bro, my, my air filter is also clutch, I need to, need to do a lot of maintenance tonight. But uh, I mean that's it for this test run people. It doesn't want to idle, but uh, anyways guys, yeah there you go. We're gonna fix that tomorrow. It's gonna perform. I don't know what's up with this thing, man. It, it has to be either the flywheel or the air filter is just clogged because tuning it right now, it's really low. It's really rich on the bottom end. So I don't know what's going on. Something is going on. Maybe my air filter is clogged, but my top end is great. My bottom end, however, is not. So that's that. Now we're gonna run this. We're gonna finish the braking on that one. This is gonna have some after-run maintenance onto it and uh, it's gonna be used tomorrow.